What's going on everybody? It's your boy that cool black guy digging all up in your fridge. And um the other day I was driving on a on a uh, freeway in Detroit and I saw this kind of like homeless Chinese looking guy on the side of the street. Uh and it said we'll play PS3 for food. So I pulled over and I'm like, "Yo, what's your name, man?" And he told me his name was Kimmy J. What the fuck you talking about? I mean, I I was just trying to help you out, you know, trying to get you some food. You know, you said you played the PS3 for food, so I don't play no PS3 for food. I I, I run a nail shop. Come on, now you know I, I don't live on the side street. Oh, don't yeah. be an asshole. I I forgot you. The Chinese people own nail shops. I completely forgot about that. Okay, black boy. I am not Chinese. I am Vietnamese. <laughs> black boy. Okay, Vietnamese, Chinese. Black and these. I mean, y'all, y'all look the same. Y'all look like the sun is just like shining very bright, right, directly into your face. And you all look like the sun been uh, burning you for too long. Oh, okay. So, so, so you're saying Wesley? You're talking about like Wesley Snipes type of black. You're not talking about like Barack Obama black. You know. Uh, nah, nah. Barack Obama is uh, not not black. I don't know what he is, but you know, like a like a Chris Rock black or like a Kobe Bryant black. You know. They've been staying by the sun for too long, like, uh, they were born next to the sun. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay, okay, I get you. So, since you're not very exposed to, uh, black people, do, is there anything you want to ask me, you know, that you've always been wondering, like, man, if I could ask a black person, what well, would I ask him? Well, okay, first of all, I live in Jamaica, Queen, okay? I am exposed to black people every day. They are all over the place, along with Asian and Hispanic. We have a lot of people here, but... One thing I want to know, uh, you know, black people, they, they have a, a big penis. Asian people, you know, we're not so lucky, okay? But uh, I want to ask you if you ever have a sex with an Asian girl before. Um, I can't say that I have. I mean, there was this one time where I, I paid for, uh, I think she called it like a, a special, a happy ending. That's what it was called. Uh, I like the massage parlor. You, you know how you guys do. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a very normal. Yeah, that that was the only time. I don't really count that one. I mean, have you ever have you ever been with a black girl? Yeah, you know, I like to go to a strip club a lot, and uh, sometime I get a VIP special. You know, pay a little extra fifty dollars or something. Fifty dollars. I I go to the ghetto one. You know, not not a very good one. You know. Uh, so and I go. I like to go maybe you know nine o'clock in the morning or something. They're very cheap at that time. You know. <laughs> So, uh, sometimes they, you know, not the most pretty girl, but it's okay, whatever. But, the, the, the I did had a sex with a, a black stripper one time, and, shit, man, I, I tell you right now, I like a big boob and a big ass, mm -hmm. and that black girl had the best ass I ever see. I, uh, I go, come right there, like, before I even go inside, I come, and she laugh at me, she said, oh, look at your small penis, you come right there, so... I get very embarrassed, but man, uh, you know, I wait another hour or something, and then uh, I go back there, and we have a sex. And I tell you right now, uh, black girls are very, very dangerous. Uh, that that's not the the time that you caught that disease, though, is it? Uh, no, I, I get uh, which. Oh, well, I have a, a few diseases before, but uh, I talk about one time I got a gonorrhea. That that was a white girl. That was not a black girl. Oh, okay, okay. I was just making sure. I, I know I, I've heard about the gonorrhea story, but uh, I figure maybe maybe this was when it happened. So no, no, no. I, I maybe I get herpes from her or something, but no, you know herpes is not a big problem. You know. Oh okay. Ah, this is just making sure. So um, other than that, how how's your how are you holding up with with the weight thing? I know that uh, you like to eat food on a consistent basis. Yeah, well, uh, you know, my name is not Wings or anything, but uh, yeah, I'm a fat, um, I have a fat family, they, they, uh, they, uh, are very fat, they eat most of the food, so I keep my weight down to, you know, like, uh, 400 pounds, not too much, mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, yeah, um, one thing I want to ask you, um, when I see your channel, I see a digging in the fridge, and I think of my wife, you know, she digging in the fridge all night like an animal or something, uh, what the hell did that mean? I wish that I knew. I really do. I mean, the, the only way that I can explain it is, you know how most black people, when they break into someone's house, you know, usually they take a TV or uh, maybe maybe a PS3 or something like that. But in Detroit, where I'm from, 
it's a little rougher out here so you know you you got to dig in the fridge is why you in the house you, you're not really worried about the tv so it's a little bit different um okay. but, but you say you, you you've been around some black people so you might know how it is yeah, I never get robbed uh, for uh, my fridge, you know. Uh, my my uh, wife will probably kill someone. She'll probably eat the person. If a black guy come to steal the fridge, she will eat him right there. And he will be in the fridge. So, uh, you know, n n everybody know if you're going to rob uh, somebody's fridge, you don't rob a fat person, you know. It's yeah. only common sense. True. True that. I, see, the, thing, the good thing about meeting you and the fact that you eat a lot is... More than likely, you probably got some stuff that I like to eat. You know, you probably got some 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 chicken, some barbecue ribs. Some of course, of course. You know, I mean, you got. I'm sure you got some stuff like that. I don't even have to ask you. Yeah, my my kids go to school with a lot of black kids, so yeah, we, they like to eat all that chicken and everything. Same thing. We, we, I'm almost black, okay? You know, you know one thing. Uh, some people thought I was black, and they say I'm a bash, and. Uh, also, when I was watching your channel, I see that somebody say that you sound white. I was like, what the hell are they talking about? Yeah, yeah, you you have to uh, you have to have a certain little accent to be considered black, I guess. I mean, s apparently I'm mixed or Latino or something like that. But I don't know. In this country, if if you're not white, you're black. You know, so technically, I guess you could be considered black. But I don't understand how the hell somebody can see, hear my voice and say, oh, that that's a black guy. Like, Maybe it's a retard or something. They have a hearing problem. I don't know. I don't know. Because as soon as I heard your voice, I was like, there's no way that this guy is any less than 400 pounds. So, yeah. I could figure You're that out. You're a smart guy. How do you know that? I don't know. See, that's the thing. It, I'm I'm smarter than the average black man. Maybe that's why people think I'm white. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. And uh, uh, one other thing I want to ask you. How the hell do you get the gold gun already? I will try so hard for that. I'm not. Maybe I'm not as good as you. Mm -hmm. But how long it take you to get that? Uh, see, it only took me about uh, about 20 minutes. You know, one day I took a ride over to the uh, the headquarters at Treyarch, and mm -hmm. I went in there. Um, you know, was looking for this guy named uh, JD2020, and I was like, "Hey, nigga, you don't give me these gold guns, I'ma fuck your ass up." So then he was like, all right, man, you know, I would just send the gold guns over to your gamer tag, and that's how I got them. I thought you go to a steal uh, people's fridge or food or something, not a gold gun. You're crazy, eh? No, I thought you need to eat. That, that time I was just focused on getting gold guns. That way I can make it look like I'm a good Call of Duty player. But really, I'm not. I'm not good at this game at all. Oh, really? What, your KD, like a point two or something? Uh, No, that's, that's a two point. It's two something, but... Uh, I kind of hacked. I kind of hacked it. You know, while I was there having a meeting, I, I made him throw in the good KD too, just to make it look like I was better. Because of, in this game, if you have a low KD, people don't want to watch your videos. Yeah, that's true. Some people they uh, use their KD like it's uh, some kind of pride, like they can uh, go to the club and uh, maybe somebody named Wings or something. I don't know, maybe someone like that. You know, they go to the club and they see a. a Sexy girl, hey baby. You know I have a KD of uh, three point five on Black Hobby. You want to suck my dick right now? <laughs> so it's a, it's a very important to some uh, fat lazy people, you know. And that might be the one way that they get get laid is just because of that. I mean, if you get laid by a KD, I do not want to see that girl. That's a disgusting. Is that what helped you get laid that day that you went to the strip club? No, that's called fifty dollars. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought maybe, you know, the, the $50 was just like an added bonus on to your KD. No, 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 no. My KD is not that good. Like a little b above two. I don't know. It's not it's not that good, but, uh, yeah, I, I go to strip club pretty much every day and uh, spend a little money, you know, get a dick suck uh, sometime. If a special day, like uh, my wife go out, uh, out of town or something, then, you know, I have a sex with a few girls, you know. <laughs> All right, so this video is about to wrap up. Anything you want to say before it's over, Kimmy J? Uh, thank you for, uh, you, you know, want to do a dual com with me, uh, that cool black guy. And uh, to all your fans, I want to say fuck you to all you asshole black people. Alright everybody, it's your boy, that cool black guy, and Kimmy J. We'll holler at y'all later. Peace.